Well, as you can see, this is our parts list for our Super Sound amplifier. Here's our tin from our local 99p shop. So our toggle switch. Already input. Battery lead. Is that mic? Our light. Two caps. The board. And our two amplifier chips. Put a wire there. There's our 10k pot. There's a knob for it. Oh, it's in all parts. Should put it all together, shall we? Oh, here we go. Our first item to install is our 10mm mic. Let's see if Right, our next item is this 47k resistor. Alright, next part is our first capacitor. Make sure you get this all the way around. Now what you need to remember here, that, that this is a single track. What we need to do is split the board here. These boards are designed so they split very easily. So what I do now, it's simple as that. Next thing is this transistor, 2N3904. Now this is the preamp. So what I'll do? Just install that.
Next item is our 1K resistor going from the emitter side of the transistor Yeah. Well, next is our 100k resistor, which goes across the preamp transistor. It goes across the base and the collector, which will be these two out. Now what you've got to remember when you're doing these with this type of board, circuit board, is to remember to always cut your tracks. You don't want anything shorting out. There we go. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut a couple of these tracks now with my blade and we'll get ready for the next stage. Alright, our next stage is the 10k resistor to the collector side of the transistor on the preamp. Well, this is the um, the last part of the um, preamp stage. I don't normally solder like this, but filming, leaning over lights and camcorders and everything else, it's possible to do it another way. Now right, that's our preamp stage done. There we go. Alright, next stage is our next cap. This is the output stage from the preamp. So this will begin to the um, LMR 386. Make sure you get this all the way around. What I'll do next, I'll just cut the track right in the centre of that. Right, our next stage is installing this LM386 I say. Great little amplifier. Really made to um power speakers. Um, this is, um, I think it was the 325 milliwatt version. It's a low power one. So what I'm going to do, you've got to remember, once this is installed on this board, 
remember the tracks go from left to right so we have to cut the tracks in the centre obviously to separate the pins on each side of the chip and um, I'm more um, We'll separate the tracks that the pin that this RC is not using. I think it's not using is it seven, one and eight, I believe. I'll show you what I've just done. I couldn't show you on camera because it just took too long. Um, what I did was um, with this LM3 out 6 I've split the tracks in the centre obviously to separate the pins either side. I've um, disconnected the track either side of pin 1 and pin 8 and also pin 7. Alright, on to the next stage. There you go. Our, our next stage is pins 2 and 4 on this LM386 amplifier chip are ground chips, they go to the um, negative side. That's what I'll do, I'll put a jumper lead in first. That is running two wires, all the way to the um, negative rail. I don't know if you can see that, I'll just put a um, Bit of wire in there. And next is our connection for pin two and four to the negative rail. Don't forget you've got to cut your pins as well on the tracks for pin 2 and 4. We don't want them, we don't want them ending up where they shouldn't be going. It'll blow the OC. Alright, sorry if that went off camera just. There's our lead in. Alright, our next stage is the um, positive feed to the LM3 out 6 chip. Well, very easy, isn't it? Just pin 6 on the own chip. We'll just run this straight up here. It's our positive right. Now right, our next stage is the output capacitator. Well, this is pin five on the LM three out six chip. Just make sure you get your cap the right way around, will you?
Just remember, cut the track in the centre, which I'll be doing next. Alright, next is this ceramic capacitator and this 10, 10 ohm resistor. This goes with the output stage. It um, stops the circuit from oscillating. The last stage I showed you, installing the um, output ceramic cap on the 10 ohm resistor, just make sure you cut the tracks like I did out. Just remember that. Looking okay in it. Well, we're almost complete. What I'm going to do is, this is not on the somatic, but uh, I'll add it so you can see where it goes. I'm just going to add a 1k resistor so I can um, power up my light on the side of the um, case. I picked this um, value of resistor because I want to keep the current very low for the light because it's, you know, it's a portable device. Like I say. Always remember to cut your tracks. What I'm going to do is going to put two pins up here so I can actually plug the lead in for the light. Next stage, I want to mark my um my two pins so I can plug in my um, LED light. So what I'm going to do is use the two legs of this um, iPowered capacitor because they are fairly thick. A bit like me. Alright, so what we do. Yeah, I'll show you the last stage. Um, see our two pins in here now, look. And this is what I'll be using. Just a um, plug of salvage from my computer. So what I can do when I'm installing this in the case, just plug the lead in like that, you see. Alright, our next stage is installing the wires for the um, for the volume control, the 10k pot. Very simple. One goes on the output of the preamp stage after the uh, after the capacitor. Um, one goes to the um, negative rail, and the other one goes to the input of the LM386 chip.
Alright, next stage is just wiring up our LED to the plug. Remember earlier I did the pins on the board. I'm just shoving some heat shrink down at the moment because maybe using a bit of heat shrink on it just to tidy it up. Don't need it, but. There we go, it's all complete. Our next stage is um, boring up the input. I've crossed these two leads on here. I don't know if you can see it here, it's like a stereo plug. Uh, across the two leads, so left and right connected, so basically the output will drive the left and right headphone. All right. So remember our output cap was out. We're right, not at our left now. Just got to put our power switch in. There we go. Have our 9 volt battery snap. Alright, just wire that in quickly. Let's have a goes to the outside. Alright, it seems like I made a bit of a scoreboard error here. The actual positive feed from the switch, I did wire into the negative side, amazingly. So I've just got to correct that and put that here into the positive side. So we're going to get a 9 volt supply to the LM386 chip. Right, so I'll just put that in there. All done now, all complete. Oh, this is a tin after drilling. Not too bad. Um, our switches are going to go here on an off switch. Our LED in the middle. Our sound output to headphones here. I'm going to put our volume adjustments here. And our microphone just there. I'll clean this up afterwards. But there we go. Well, next stage, just padding out the inside. What I'm going to do, I had some of this spare foam, 
Some stuff I got off eBay a while ago, that's what I've done. I've cut out a base. Now you might have noticed there's an hole in the middle. Well, not quite the middle, but what I'm going to do, that's why I'm going to put some Velcro to stick to the board. So the circuit board can stick down okay. So what we'll do, we'll place that in there. Right, got some Velcro out. What I'll do, I'll just put a drop of super glue in there. There we go. Put that down here, so our circuit board. Stick that. There we go. It's all ready for the board. Our next task is to put some Velcro on the bottom of this circuit board to um, hold it in place while it's in the tin. What I need to do. I'm going to have got an ink on here, so I'm just going to apply some hot glue to the underside of this board. Try and get it as flat as I can. Right, so let that dry now for a bit. It's going to take a couple of minutes for that to go out. Okay, we're ready to uh, install it in the tin now. Okay, we're ready to install it all now. Just had, a, just had to make a couple of modifications in here, like that, to cut away the phone for the, um, the volume pot, and the same with the mic. Alright. You see the mic now is just sitting lower, about halfway between the board now. Alright then. Looks like it's got Velcro on here now, so it's well stuck down, as you can see. Let's give it another way. Alright, all right, next, I'll show it all working. Well, we've done it. Hold on. As you can see, our switch. Our oh, LED sound output. I've put the um, button down a bit, the volume button. So it's almost flush now. There's our mic. Alright, just install the battery now. As you can see, it's very tight in there, not a lot of room. But just to make it our battery in. It's that tight, the battery will not move about when it's in. As you can see. And the lid just touches the battery. Let's have a look inside before we close it and try it. There we go. Look at that for a fit. Hold on. Huh? Does it work? Oh, well, our lights come on. Turn the volume down because I'll turn it off a minute. I want to do all. I'll, I'll take the camcorder off its tripod and we'll try it. See you in a minute. Alright, I'm not sure if you can hear this very well. I've um, plugged. I'll well, plug it in first. I've got one um, headphone in my ear on, one, one in. One in the camcorder. Well, not in. Strapped to it. So I'm not sure if you hear this just to the left or right speaker. Let's power it up. Yeah, so let's turn it up a bit. I've got a well amplified. I 
fans of my PC are very, very quiet. You can never hear them. But watch. Hear that? That's actual fans in my PC. It's got many uses, it says. I mean, you could plug this in while watching the TV and turn the TV up without disturbing others. Let's go and listen to the outside. I'll tell you that in a minute. That's your normal volume. Turn it up. Okay, do I? Yeah, the scrap man. Oh, there's someone talking. 60 cents a yard right at the back of the yes. I'll turn it up a bit. No wind. Turn it down. That's normal volume on the camcorder. Back it up again. Very good. Turn it down and get closer so I get a bit of feedback. Oops. Friggin' half deaf now. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Turn it down. Aye, not bad is it? It's in a little case. Looks quite neat. Now, leave good comments, please.